Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he returns this to the 22. Play one, and Prescott to the air. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Prescott. Oh, that is caught by Lamb. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, for as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. That's caught, and it's very quickly 8 to nothing. Tell you what, they're not messing around. You get the quick touchdown, and then you go for two to go up 8 nothing here on the road. In a sense, they hit him with a big shot right away. You don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker, right? Go ahead and go for two. They did. They did control. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone and tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. Successfully. disruption he can cause. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter.
in need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. situation like this and say just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it maybe they did some of that Prescott looks to throw on first and a dangerous throw to the drop off incomplete nearly intercepted what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. On second and ten, Prescott flushed out right. Oh, come on, come on. Get it. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you. Extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked okay, free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to dive, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Sanders first carry of the game. 
Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Defensively, he had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Prescott. It's complete to Brown, right side. Be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Oh, it's time to give more credit there to the defense. They played that very well because of the drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he can have a Cowboys first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, Loss of yardage ugly. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. And two, 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 two. Now Prescott. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. 8-0 our score with two minutes left in the second quarter. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Prescott to throw it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Caught a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. Brett Maher now for the Cowboy field goal. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. The 
The kick by Maher is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. After the made field goal, Maher back out there to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Check, Matt. Check, Matt. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Throwing his hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about riddling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Hurts to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Demarcus Lawrence. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Barr. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. After the sack on first down, Prescott. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. Oh, they'll 
try and sneak this. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. Now a timeout coming here defensively. As on fourth down, may as well make him punt it. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. 60 bites, 60 bites. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. They'll roll him out right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long. Haven't done it to scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. They'll look to throw, and this is going to be intercepted. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. The 40, 20, 10, 5. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Mm -hmm. 
No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Give them a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. 18 runners, 18 runners. Play action. Here's Hertz. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Anthony Barr. And the Cowboys will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Uh, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. To throw once more on second and ten. Prescott, his throw incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Prescott, and now another one thrown incomplete. Textbook coverage right there, caught the ball, never lost sight of where it was headed, and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Here's Brian Anger now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Throwing on second down, Hurts. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. So rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's him personally or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand.
touchdown carry by Elliott. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far. And that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Hurts fumbles it. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? So they keep the football, but now face second and long. He'll drop to throw. He's got Watkins on the out route. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And one more time, that's Watkins. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to make it fourth down. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And that will force a turnover on downs. A first down throw for Prescott. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. No gain on the play, and that'll make it second down. 
Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, his throw caught right around the six. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Elliott will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. It's a keeper with Prescott, and I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old-school football or what, oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it, and I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. offense sent to begin their next drive well it's been a struggle so far for this offense Charles it's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests but in almost all of them both offenses put up at least 200 yards in a game but not in this one this has been a display of offense that frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Watkins. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. That's Anthony Barr coming in from his linebacker spot to bring him to the ground. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And this is caught. That's Watkins. He's at the 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Cross Watkins. 97 yards. And the Eagles are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Hurts will throw. 
And he's going to get in for the score. And the lead now cut to 14. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Well, now how about this return? And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. They use the timeouts here. It's strictly for show. We got a play in the catch. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Well, Prescott here to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. So it's a 